Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Nick and in today's video, we are looking at adding one of the most requested features I think that I see, which is adding an add to cart button from the uh, collections page. So here's a good example of that. If we're at the collections all page, we have this button here, this little icon with a call to action to add this to cart from here. Adding to cart is obviously one of the most important things that we can do um, to call out in our stores. So this gives the option to do that from the collections page. You'll see another example here on the home page. Usually people have featured product collection. Well, here it is as well. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, when I first start looking into how I'm gonna implement this on the collections page, I jump into one of the collection displays, one of the sections here, and then I notice that they're adding um, this snippet card product, which seems to be the actual um, representation of the individual cards. So that's where I'm going to implement these changes to take effect there. So I'm going to open up this main, uh, excuse me, um, card product snippet. And I'm going to make some changes here. So I'm going to scroll down to nearly the bottom of this where there is an else, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, right here. So this top portion is if there is a card and this bottom is if there is not. So this is where we actually want to make our change. And I'm going to come in here and add a, a little bit of code. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. And let me add the github uh, link here so if i go to this github link which the uh, link will be in the description below i am going to find this uh, html section right here so i'm going to copy this and in my code right here i'm going to add it now uh, what's exactly happening i'm adding this div which is going to actually be the round circle button i'm giving it an on click event uh, uh, handler, which when it's clicked, it's going to call this function that we're going to create in a minute. And it's going to pass the variant ID, which is required to add the product to the cart. And then within that, I have this span. And um, and I know, just noticed that I have uh, this duplicated um, span in here. So that's a mistake on my end, but I'm just going to remove one of them. And now this is a materials icon uh, icon that we're importing from Google's uh, CDN, which allows us to have a lot of icons. And uh, we are going to uh, we're going to add a link in our theme.liquid to have access to this shortly. Um, okay, cool. So now if we save this, we have the actual HTML liquid in place. So the next thing I want to do though is add some style so that we can um, make sure this looks good. So I am going to come here and I'm going to copy this, all of this style tag. And if I come back in the code and go up to the top of the file, I'm just going to add it right below all these comments. So you'll see add it. this is hitting the button. We're creating a position of absolute so that it will uh, appear wherever we tell it to. And it's also got a Z index set. So it should appear above the card and the card image. We're giving it the height, width, background, radius, etc and then we're gonna center the icon. And then we have this little effect so that when it's on hover, the background will change, and then setting that uh, icon to be the color white. Now, lastly, well, I wanna add this script here. So I'm gonna copy that, and I'm just gonna paste it right below this style tag. So what is this doing? Well, we're creating a function called add product from collection. It's taking an ID. So if you think back to the HTML that we just added, which is right here, we have this on click, which is calling this function and passing this ID. Well, this is just the function that we are calling. So we take that ID, we're gonna um, add it to our form data. We're gonna make this Ajax cart API request to add it. And then we are going to uh, navigate to the cart page. Now that's the beauty of the Ajax cart is that it's all happening behind the scenes. So technically you could do whatever you want. You don't have to navigate to the cart page. You could refresh the cart um, if you have like a pop-up or a cart slide out or however you'd want to handle that. But in this case, we are just going to navigate to the cart. So um, now the last thing that we need to do is just import this theme.liquid link so that we can have access to the Google icon. So I'm gonna open up theme.liquid and then right below one of these links, I'm gonna paste this in here and we'll save that. 
And now let's give our um, store a preview. And voila, you can see it right here. So if we click on this, we want to make sure it adds the correct product, which it does. And we'll try another one, the complete snowboard. And voila, there it is. So you can see how easy this is to actually add. Um, it's simply using the cart API from the cart Ajax API from Shopify itself. And um, it looks great on the home page, the featured products, as well as if I navigate to the collections page, you'll see it here as well. So anytime that we can add an extra call to action, um, get that product in the cart, I think that's a win. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, all that jazz. And if you're interested in more Shopify dev tutorials and content like this, um, click on the link down in the description to go to my website, fill out the form um, to stay in touch. I'm creating courses like this constantly, as well as creating a private Slack channel for Shopify developers like myself. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you fill out that form and I'll see you next time. Thanks.